Welcome to the darkest side of the Android and to the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone which you're watching it right now. In this video we'll be today talking about on how you can install the latest Code Chrome firmware of whose developer claims that this custom ROM firmware almost matches the style of LG Nexus 4 which was recently released by Google. So before going that there are some guidelines which you need to follow. This is actually firmware which was released for Samsung Galaxy F3 smartphone. So now to install this firmware you need to first up ensure that your Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone is rooted. So to check whether your device is rooted or not either you have to be on the customer firmware which actually means that your device is pre-rooted or else if you are on any other stock firmware or you think you haven't done anything such as to root the phone download the root checker application on the google play store and check whether your device is rooted or not so just in case if your device is rooted all you need to do is just download the zip package which of whose the link is mentioned in the procedure section just below this video and place the zip file in your galaxy s3 smartphones external sd card so now assuming that you have placed it disconnect the phone from the computer and just turn off the device you have actually placed the zip file in the device so do not be showcasing all that method to you so now the device is powered off now you need to enter the device in the recovery mode which you can do that by pressing the volume up key pressing the menu button and then the power button hold till you see the recovery mode screen in your S3 so there's a recovery mode so now before you going forward ensure that you have selected the option of wipe data or factory reset it should delete all the user data present in your device so as to ensure that there are no force close errors once you install this new firmware up next select the option of wipe cache and then head over to the advanced option to select wipe Dalby cache you can select with the help of pressing power button and to navigate to the option you need to press the volume keys and now select the option of install the from SD card by pressing the volume blocker keys and the power button and then choose zip from SD card after which a list of files will be showcased which will be there in your micro SD card out of this select the codec rom zip package which you have placed in your device so this is a 1x6 dlj file select it and then to confirm volume box keys and then the power so now as you can see that the package is now being installing in the device and here is the progress bar which you can keep a track on it so as you can see that there are a host of language options which are being given over here English, Indonesian, Espanol, Simplified Chinese, Arabic, French, Russian, Italian, Hebrew and Germany so there are a bunch of supported languages which are being given in this so you can select any of the theme out of your choice preferably select the ICS theme by default and then there are some guidelines which are being given over here tap on next and then agree the terms and conditions then tap on next then I will prompt you that all the data in your device will be lost blah 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 just ignore that then you can proceed with the system installation there is a recovery type which is being asked and then you can choose which kernel you actually want it and go with anything go with the default probably it's always better and then you've got the launcher option as a nexus 4 launcher proceed next and then it's asking for the browser go with the AOSP browser because anyways the Chrome browser can be downloaded from the Google Play Store now you are being asked with a music player select the Nexus 4 music player 
then tap on next and then you have got the keyboard options go with the next nexus 4.2 keyboard and then messaging app or the aosp one and then gallery and camera with the photosphere that is the stock 4.2 firmware one and then you can select the nexus 4 one you got a bunch of options to choose from the best part is you can almost customize every single thing just tap on next okay and then you're all now set to install this firmware in your Galaxy F3 smartphone just tap on install now so as you can see that there's a progress bar which has been shown over here at the bottom of the screen it will take good amount of 2-3 to three minutes for installing this update to ensure that in the meanwhile you're not interrupting the process by pressing the power button or something else As you can see that a bunch of options which are being selected in this which are now being flashed so the update has been finished and we will now reboot the system So there's a boot screen animation which you're seeing it right now. It'll take around two three minutes for showing up the home screen and other settings. Since this is the first time the device is being booted up. So as you can see that the country selection option has arrived so since we haven't entered any of the sim card it's asking for the no sim card option we can set it up all this at a later stage as well we can skip everything as of now so that's it guys here is a stock launcher of Nexus 4 which you are seeing it right now this is a stock dialer of Nexus 4 even in the Nexus 4 you have got the same dialer apart from that there are a bunch of applications which are being given over here you got the playing music You've got the reader application, you've got the video player of the Nexus, you've got the movie studio for editing all your videos, and then you've got the gallery application as well. This is a stock gallery of which is there in the Nexus 4. So the calculator app, which too resembles the same as that of the Nexus 4, and there's a all new clock. which too is taken from the Nexus 4 apart from that this has also got an FM radio app which is not if it is actually not there in the Nexus 4 device this has also got the file explorer that again adds up to the positive 
let's check out the camera whether it has got the Texas 4 camera or not so there's a camera so as you can see that you have got all the options there's a flipping camera and then the flash and the zoom and the mode you can choose from any of the option you can also go to the settings by this way you can choose from anything the scene mode, the store location etc seems to be a very good one apart from that the messaging app let's check out whether it has got the gesture sensing or not first up before that we need to select the keyboard option let's check out whether that keyboard is actually there or not which we can check the same from the settings head over to the settings and then language and input and then tap on the default android keyboard let's check out whether now it's working or not So as you can see that the swipe capability of the gesture typing is not there so that's the only thing that's the only sad part about this firmware apart from this this comes with almost all features of that instead of nexus 4 so that's it from us stay tuned to advices media youtube channel we'll come up with some more mods for your device